Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so if you remember <clears throat> from the last tutorial, we made this program <clears throat> into an executable, and it just asks for your name and how many times you'd like to print it. And then it just closes immediately. Um, I thought we could add a little functionality to the script that had the program wait until you typed a, a certain string, and then it would exit. That way, it doesn't close so quickly. And while we're at it, I thought we could change the icon here. So this is the little default icon that comes with Pi Installer. <clears throat> it's kind of dumb looking. It's just like a floppy drive with a snake a python around it, I guess. But um, it's really easy to change this icon, and that makes them makes it seem a lot cooler, too. Um, so first, let's go back to that script, and this is what we had so far. Um, so in order to get user input, um, we have to again use this input thing and we're gonna actually make this in a function because if the user accidentally types the wrong information the wrong phrase then it's gonna have to run this program again um, but let's just get started so we'll just make it a function called close program um, and then now we need to get user input so we can just say exit exit phrase equals input and then we can say type we'll put it in quotes exit to exit the program all right so now we have once this all runs at the end we're going to call this function and it's going to say type exit to exit the program now we need to check what the user input so we have to check the value of exit phrase so we're going to do an if statement if exit phrase is equal to exit then what do we want to do we want to print see you later and now we want to close the program so we can say sys.exit and that will close the program and I'm getting this error because sys isn't part of the built-in Python installation so we just import sys and it it uh, allows us to use that. Um, so if they don't type exit, what do we want to do? Else print you you didn't did not type exit correctly. Try again. I don't think I spelled correctly, but right, but whatever. <laughs> you did not type exit correctly. Try again. And now what we want to do is we want to call this whole function again. So then it's not going to repeat this part. It's just going to repeat this part. And it's going to ask for this again. Type exit to exit the program. So to do that, you just close the program. Um, so we'll just get this running. So now, so what's going to happen is it's going to do all this stuff first. And then it's not going to do anything because we haven't called this function yet so it's going to do all this and then um, exit like normal so in order to use this function we have to call it and bear with me if you guys already know this I just I wanted to explain it to everyone um, close program so this should give us our desired result uh, let's give it a try All right, see it didn't close, it's saying type exit to exit the program. So let's type, let's type no. All right, see, you did not type exit correctly, try again. So when we when we uh, set this equal to no, exit phrase equals no, and then it said if exit phrase equals exit, do this, else you did not type exit correctly, try again, and then it runs this whole thing again. So now we can try no, we'll just keep doing this. Um, until we type exit correctly and then it's going to close. You know, I don't even think this is necessary. We can probably get rid of that. Some circumstances you want to use that, but I don't think here we do. Let's try it. Yeah, it closes because that, that's like the last, there's no other um, code after this. So it's, it's just going to close. This is kind of like a force close. Um, so if there was other code down here that you didn't want to get executed, you could just exit it at this point. But at this point, this is the last thing. Um, all right, so that takes care of that. Now 
Let's see how long this video is. Five minutes. Um, all right, we'll cut this off, and then I'll make a new video on how to do the icon. Uh, see you guys later.